Alright, what's up guys? My moniker in the vernacular is Signify, and today we're going to be playing some Medic. This is a 9v9 Highlander match I found on TF2 Lobby. No one's got a clan or anything, it's just... Everybody coming together. God, I'm tired. <laughs> it's not a good idea to make commentaries when you're tired, but hey, with my schedule, it's really the only thing I can do, so... Deal with it, but uh, anyway... So I find I find myself playing medic a lot lately. As you guys probably know if you watch my channel, I do main spy and I main soldier as well. But I find find myself playing medic more than I play these classes, especially in Highlander matches, because a lot of times the medic position is open. Because that's not a lot of people's favorite classes. I think out of all the classes, I think spy is probably everyone's favorite, or well, not everyone's favorite, but the most people's favorite is probably spy. And then medic is not very many people's mains. I have found I've I know I know one medic main. His name is Doctor Payne. He's a very good medic, but uh, yeah. So that's the only one that I know, and it's very strange because medic is such a fun class, and I think if more people gave it a try, they'd really like it. Uh, I find I find myself playing medic a lot in Highlander. I also find myself playing medic a lot in pubs sometimes if I actually want to win. Um, I don't know, like. Pub medics are very, very rare, few and far between. Just because in pubs, it's kind of, it's kind of like, uh, it's not a really big deal. Play your favorite class. If we win, we win. If we don't win, eh, fuck it. I have to pop over there, as you'll see. That soldier was about to explode on me, and I don't like it exploded on. God, that sounds sexual. Ugh, ugh. Anyway, so medic is a class that you need to win the game, and you don't really see too many people playing Medic very much. That soldier was almost dead. I think he had like four health. It was crazy. But I find I found so much joy in playing Medic because it's such an it's such such a good feeling when you see somebody is that's like on fire with like two health and you just like swoop in like a eagle from the sky and just like give them your hugs and then they'll 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 survive and because you hug them and that's God I'm getting sexual again. Fuck. Uh but it, it's very it's a very good feeling it's very good to see like uh somebody getting dropped by a sniper I saw that sniper coming around the corner and i was just like nope uh but it's a good feeling to see see somebody like almost on the brink of death and just take them back there and make them strong again and then they can go back out and uh go go kill shit and that's really what what medic's all about helping your team kill shit so I make I make a very big mistake here, as you're about to see. Uh, I decided to take on this spy with an Uber saw. Now you never, ever, 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 ever want to get into a f melee fight with a spy because they will just sidestab you. It's so easy. Trust me, I main spy. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, that was kind of stupid on my part, but hey, I'm a stupid kind of guy. Anywho, so this is this is something new for me. I haven't I haven't really played Highlander too much in the past. I've actually wanted to play Highlander for a really long time, but I don't know very many people in the TF2 community um, that that actually play competitive. So it took I can't I couldn't really get a team or anything. It took me and then uh, LD Shuffler decided to show me this uh, TF2 lobby thing, and now I can play Highlander all I want usually, and it's a lot of fun. So yeah, there's that, and I've been playing. It's it's so much fun. It's such such an interesting thing. Everybody communicates nicely. You don't have any free to plays. Well, some of them might be free to play, but they know what they're doing, and that that's really all that matters. And it's just it's such such a good like it's such a good feeling like, after like leaving pubs with like 13 snipers that have no idea what the hell a headshot is, and then you go into this, and everybody knows what we're doing. Everybody's communicating, working together, trying to reach a certain goal, and a lot of times you'll win. And then sometimes you lose. That that's the other side of Highlander that uh, is a bit of a, the dark side, so to speak, is uh, when you hit a coordinated. See, I told you, snipers, they will fuck you up. I swear, that is like my main enemy as a medic. They just snipe me from the most impossible angles. You would not believe the shit I have seen. But anyway, the other part of Highlander is getting beat, getting your ass handed to you by a team that knows what they're doing and it's it happens it's very frustrating when that happens too because uh like i said a very good coordinated team on tf2 that knows what they're doing and if your team's not communicating or really not not doing pushes and stuff don't really know what they're doing you're gonna get raffle stomped every time and it's gonna be terrible and you're gonna hate yourself for the rest of the day and you're just gonna think about damn they killed us and it was terrible and i cried i have to get a teddy bear after this Ugh. Which I'm pretty sure that's what we're doing to this team right here, because they're not putting up too much of a defense. I think we cap it after a few times. Um, I oh god, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this soldier kicked my ass. That's another thing about communication, though. If that heavy was paying attention, I probably wouldn't have died there. But 
you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some, and that's that, that's how it goes. This this heavy wasn't talking, which is not very good. I told him to keep calling for medic in this video, I believe, just so I could keep track of where he is. It's always good to keep track of where your fat man is, because that's you gotta know like who you need to stick with. The two classes you want to stick with most are the demo, the soldier, and the heavy. Demo because he'll probably be hurting himself a lot because uh, just just the fact of playing demo, you're gonna blow your you're gonna there's gonna be some pipes blowing up in your face pretty soon. Heavy just because it has the most damage output, most health. It's basically like a walking turret. And then, uh, of course, the soldier. Another one that has a lot of health and has a lot of damage output. I think we cap it right here, actually. So, yeah. So, that was the round there. Notice I was sticking. If you notice, like, throughout the round, those were the three classes that I was sticking with the most. Was the demo, the heavy, and the soldier. And I switched to stock medic there. I accidentally... I was using the blue slogger in the pregame. Just for fun, and I forgot to switch off it. I don't like the Blute Slogger at all. I, that was just kind of for the lulls, I suppose. I should have buffed the demo in the Soldier before they uh, started zooming out, because I think they're almost dead when I get to them. But that's where they go. And uh, another thing that really, really confounded me right here, you'll see, is uh, they suicide. And there's a very good reason for doing that. I was kind of freaking out for a second, like, oh my god, everybody's dropping around me. What am I supposed to do? And it's because the uh, NG needs metal. And so what they'll actually do is have their classes suicide and then come back so their weapons drop and they give the NG metal. And it's really, it's an interesting little thing and I've never seen it done before. I definitely haven't seen it done in pubs, that's for damn sure. But, uh, so yeah, that gives your NG metal. If you ever play High Litter or something like that, consider doing that. It's, it's really, I was really freaking out though because I was like, come here soldier, I'll heal you. And then you just suicide. And I was like, oh god, why'd you die? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the, the people in the lobby were nice enough to explain that for me. I'm still kind of a Highlander virgin, so to speak. Uh, I don't really know what's going on very much. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to heal you. We're going to have some fun. But it's really – it's such – it's so much fun. If you haven't played – like, if you play TF2 and you want, like, a more competitive environment, go play Highlander. It is great. I love it. I've been thinking about getting a team together once again, but I don't know too many people that play TF2 or are good enough to be on a uh, Highlander team. But, uh, so hopefully maybe in the future we'll be able to do that. But, uh, as for now, not so much. I'll just be playing ringing with some, uh, with some peoples. <laughs> um, anything else? Well, not really much. This gameplay is going to, we, we pretty much, I don't even think we let them cap the first point. I think we might, though. I just, I can't really remember. I'm just sticking with the soldier here. Decide to pop, because fuck it. Uh, another thing about popping your Uber if you get in the red, go ahead and pop it, because I've had so many heartbreaks. Another stupid move. Since we were kind of just we were winning, I decided, uh, eh, fuck it, whatever. And I get down to actually uh, 13 health, and I actually survive. And it was, it was, it was tense. <laughs> the main thing you want to do uh, or remember as a Highlander dramatic is do not die. Um, I think I've died like maybe, ooh, maybe three times in the course of this video so far. I think I die like uh, maybe one more time. That, that's, the, that's the thing you want to do. You want to never die. If it means letting your teammates die around you, then so be it. You run away and you survive. That's that's the main thing. You want to keep alive because if you're alive, that means your teammates are going to have an easier t job staying alive. And that is your job. Sip of water real quick. Uh, I'm not the best commentator, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, I don't die very often in this video, and I think... I, cause I was doing my job pretty well there. I've had I've had matches where I just keep getting headshot or something like that. Our sniper was actually doing a very good job of taking out the other sniper, which is very good of him. I was commending him greatly. He was my he was my uh, sniper buddy. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's that's one thing you don't want to do, and you never want to drop Uber, cause Uber is like a team coordinated effort to give you Uber a lot of times, cause a lot of times the demo will hurt himself or the soldier will hurt himself. Just to charge your Uber faster, the scout will get the uh, Boston Basher or something like that and hurt himself so you can charge your Uber faster. So it's a really big team effort, and once you get it, you don't want to drop it because it took a lot of effort on other people's parts as well as your own to get it, and you just don't – you never you never want to drop Uber. If, it, if, it, like, if it's between wasting the Uber, like just using it and not really killing anything and dropping the Uber, just waste it. It's not it's not worth uh, not worth the time trying to do uh, – keep it uh until a good spot uh but yeah if you're coordinating with your team sometimes they'll be like hey pop uber when we come around this corner or something like that but a lot of time it's up to you and using uber is one of the is one of the very 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 most things to get the hang of and the most things to know when to do it uh, what what time is right to pop the uber and uh that's something that i've been working on quite a bit and uh usually 
either if we're going around this corner, if there's a sentry, if there's a ton of people, if my heavy's almost dead or something like that. That's usually when I pop Uber. Some people have different have different situations where they want to pop it, but uh, that's that's mainly what I do. I'm going to be working on that in the future to find different times or to kind of coordinate with the team a little bit better when I'm going to pop it. But uh, other than that, just make sure you don't die, and that, that's that's usually what Uber is good for. Now, um, <laughs> that demo with the caber. I think... I don't know who got him there, but they saved my ass because that that caber demo was about to kick, blow the fuck out of me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I think yeah, got this flaw pyro. Yeah, they're not gonna cap it. I couldn't quite remember if they capped it or not, but yeah. So if there's anything you want to take away from this video, it's that play medic. It's not a bad class. It's a lot of fun. I have a lot of good times with it, and it's just it's a lot of. It's very, very challenging, and it's something that uh, TF2 is very unique in because there's really not too many other, too many other first-person shooters that have the role of a medic. I know there's a lot of RPGs and shit that have this role, but uh, yeah, and there's the sniper again. Like I said, snipers will kick your ass. And you're a really big target, but um, a lot of first-person shooters don't really have the role of the medic, and it's really, it's a good one. It's really, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it, and I'm probably going to keep playing Medic in the future. I don't know if Medic gameplay is fun to watch. I don't really know. I like playing it. I like recording it. I don't know if you like watching it, but uh, send me some feedback in the comments. Uh, that's about all for now. You'll probably see some more Highlander in the future. Tell me if you want to see some more Medic in the future. Other than that, thank you, and goodbye.